nothing to be ashamed about. I couldn't ride a bike without training wheels until I was about your age as well. Um, she does seem like a little bit of a mean person.
more over here. But some of them did just fall, so if you want, you can keep them. Let me find something. Here, let me just put them right here. Okay, I put them off the side there, so you can go ahead and take those if you so desire. I'm just gonna do one little quick look through it once again. a decent experience for you, maybe even a little relaxing. Um, but, okay. Good luck with your arch nemesis and with your boyfriend. And I'll see you around school. Okay, bye. You know, I'm telling you, like, they added a new ingredient. And it's just question marks. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, how is that even legal? Oh, there's someone there. Hello? Yeah, like, welcome to McDonald's. Do you have a code? Like, do a program or whatever, a membership thing, app? Okay, cool. What's the numbers? Yeah, I'll remember that. Okay. Um, so what are you ordering? The fish fillet? The McFillet sandwich? You're eating fish from McDonald's? I mean, it's your life on the line. This is what you want to do. This is what you want to do. Okay, whatever. Okay, well, just come up to the window. It'll be like $8 or something, so... Hi, yeah. Just gonna get a really good look at you, the one who's ordering the fish fillet from McDonald's. Sorry if you could like hear any background noise. We have a cat at this local McDonald's. Yeah, his name's Tigger, and he was just foraging in his little foraging box, so. Anyway, so you got the fish fillet. Car. Stay still. Stay fair. Look, I know we're strangers. I know we just met, but I, I am not evil enough to let you walk through the world with what I just saw on your head. You have a buck. Yes, a lice, a lice, a louse, whatever. It's right there. Please let me pick that out for you. I'm gonna need you to like come really close though. So come really close, okay? So I can go ahead and... Are you kidding me? Don't worry, we can just throw it on the McDonald's floor. It's dirty enough anyways. Okay, look. This local McDonald's that you're at is also doubles as a community place where we gather to help each other. And you are in luck today. I have done this countless, countless times. Luckily, it's not too busy today. It's just a random Monday at 3 p.m. So that's gonna allow me to check your hair. Exactly. Exactly. So is it okay if I like touch you and stuff? I think first what I'm gonna do is get like a general look through to see if the problem's like really, really bad and then we'll do a brush. Cool, cool. We have this bag full of all of the tools that we may need. Right now, um, I lost my other chopsticks, so yeah. So I just had this little paint thingy. Kind of works nicely because you can kind of like go like that to where the hair is parted and stuff. pretty bad. It's a lot. Um, but that's okay, because I'm here to help. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best I've ever seen, but it's not the worst, you know? Like, you could have the worst hair in the entire world. I have seen bad hair, trust me. Do you know the kind of people that show up in this McDonald's drive through I'm not one to judge, but like, 
you know. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing quite a problem. There's a lot of problem areas around your ears. And I really want to check the nape of your neck. So if you could just like, yeah, just like lean through your car so I can really get that area back there. Just looking at the area and feeling around. And feeling around to see if I can. And just looking around just so I can see if there's anything. Mm -hmm. Where the main issue is, which makes sense. You have really thick hair, so they they like warmth, but they also like to breathe, <laughs> and they would be sort of suffocating inside, you know, more general areas. Um, okay, so I'm trying to think about how I want to go about this. Um, I guess now we should probably just do a quick comb through. Um, we should brush it first, I suppose, and then comb it. I think that'll probably be the best bet to make sure that you don't have any knots. And then we can pick out some of the lice and do a little bit of a treatment, if that's cool with you. Okay, okay. so... Before I start, I just need a little bit of... Oh, gosh. I mean, when do I not need more lip gloss? Do you want some? It looks like it would go really good with your outfit. Sorry, I just got it on your eyeballs a little bit. I should go a little bit lower. Yeah, okay. I recently got latex, lasex, lay, laser. you know, the one where they put the laser in your eyes. So my vision hasn't been super great as of late. Um, also, I'm just feeling a little snacky. So I've got some Skittles. Do you have a favorite color, favorite flavor? Mine's, mine's personally red, and then purple, and then yellow, then orange, then green. And I only like to eat them in pairs. One on each side. So, one of my favorite things to do is to plug my nose while eating Skittles. And uh, all you taste is sweet. And when you release your nose, you get all the flavor. Super fun. So I'm gonna give these to you. It'll keep you entertained while we're doing the check. McDonald's doesn't really put a lot of funding into the lice checking part of their company. So we have to use the same brush that we brush our cat with. This side is pretty, but this side is pretty clean. Yeah, very nice hair, very long hair. Is this your natural hair color? It's really nice. Sorry, I just have to reach a little bit. It's a really nice color. Okay, that does look pretty good, but I'm just like wondering if I should just kind of go a little bit more. Um, this also helps to disturb the lice and just really allowing the scalp to, to first of all get some blood flow but second of all to get those little buggers running and grooving if you know what I mean 
Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it looks, looks good. You have lovely hair, by the way. Very nice. Okay. Um, so... So don't mind that this is um, the only comb that we have. It's a little bit broken. Like I said, they do not be giving us enough funding. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna part the area and pick out some of the bugs just to kind of check out like um like how old they are how long this has been happening for like what's the age range if that sort of makes sense so we're just gonna kind of just looking i'm just looking for any lice to begin with yeah i am seeing them once i find like a really good one. I'm gonna pick it up though. can see you've got a lot of different lights from a lot of different age ranges which is a little bit concerning uh, means this has probably been going on for a little bit longer than you might have known or maybe you've just been itchy for a while now yeah yeah it's a it's it's not a big deal though don't worry about it um, we're gonna do the best that we can with what you've got Like, you guys need to wait your turn. Seriously? Your food is gonna come? What is this gonna take five minutes of your life? What would you even do with those five minutes? Play Raid Shadow Legends? Like, calm down. You can wait. I tell you, people have no consideration for, like, anyone but themselves. I am trying to do a service, you know? I know it's called fast food, but, like, you can wait. Okay, so I'm kind of getting a general feel for the hair. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use this as a way to just stimulate the scalp. Give you a nice little scalp massage in hopes that they'll start a running. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I can definitely tell that they are disturbed for sure. Um, all right. So I'm just noticing that, that you have one little strand of hair that's a little uneven. So I'm just gonna grab, grab it. Don't worry, I have been doing this a long time, and I cut all sorts of hair, I mean all sorts of hair, so if you have any problems down there, you know, towards your feet, you know, if you've got hobbit feet, 
Don't even worry about it. I've got you covered. Okay. Just kind of cutting the flyaways. That looks good. That looks really good. You look good. Okay. Anyways, what are we supposed to be doing? What are we supposed to be doing? Oh, removing your lice. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through. Nothing there. Oh, I see one. I should have a little cloth in here. Oh my gosh, do I not have one? Okay, well, I guess I'll just pick them off and throw them on the floor then. Yeah, you have quite a few. I have a hair on my arm. Do I have two? <gasps> I literally have two hairs on my arms. more than I would like to say. Okay. This strategy is not working out as well as I'd like it to be. But don't worry, I have a new strategy. You ever see this primer before? Yeah. It grips really well. So I'm just got a little bit. And it I'm gonna use it on Mm -hmm. And this is hopefully gonna go ahead and grip all of the little bugs and the nits and I'm hoping that they will run around trying to escape and then they're gonna touch each other and they're gonna be like glued to each other and then I can just get them all in like one big ball if that makes sense. My fingers are really sticky. off on my pants. Okay. And I'm gonna eat two new Skittles. Okay. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of oil to your scalp. It's not opening. Oh, you like my uniform? Thanks. We're pretty chill around here, so you can really wear whatever you want. It smells so good. Yeah. Okay. And it makes your hair look really nice too. Oh, my hair is like oily and sticky and it's a mess. Okay, anyways. So we have to let that like sit on your scalp for a little bit. Uh-huh. By the way, you should definitely check out this um 
gloss. It's called the Clean Fresh Jimmy Gloss by CoverGirl. Do you see that? It's really good. Yeah. Okay, let me see what else I have to like try and help you. I have scissors. We could just we could just cut you bald. Like that's an option. Just think about it, okay? We don't really have much for treatment. We do have nail polish though. Oh, I thought I lost this. It's one of those like ones that like is clear, but then like it reacts to your pH on your skin. Do you see that? It like reacts to your pH. It's really cool. Yeah, I like it. Anyways, it's by Essence, but like look, I bought this for three dollars and it shows. Anyways, yeah, we have a lot of nail polish. If you wanted, we could like try and add the nail polish to your scalp and like that probably would deteriorate no deteriorate like deteriorate the lice they'd probably just want to leave right away because they'd probably be like i don't like living in an environment that's full of nail polish so that's one option i also have this which is kind of like hair dye if you really think about it it's a tombow water-based brush pen and like i could like do this all across your scalp and like really slowly grab each strand and like dye them you know like really slowly dye every single strand of your hair and i'm pretty sure lice don't like dye like for honest real life to god i don't think they like it you know this would make an excellent like searching tool i'm using this the wrong way yeah because like it's a lot i don't think i'm gonna be able to comb this all out, out. What if you just like trusted me and let me do what I want to do and then like I promise you you'll be so grateful that you did because it'll look a lot better, it'll feel a lot better, like your whole scalp, your whole life, it will be changed. Um, I really think the best thing for you yes, is a complete Come on, it wouldn't be so bad. And listen, this one's like for your cuticles and stuff or what? I don't know. It's, it's for men apparently. It says Revlon Men's Series Stainless Steel. Whatever that means. Why do they have to like market things to men and to women? It seems kind of weird. You think that we both use the same scissors. You know, you don't think men are like growing hair out here, or, like eyebrows out here that are like 10 like industrial strength eyebrows, you know? Like, I mean, anyways. It would be really nice. I think you would look really good with a buzz cut. And I don't have any buzzers, but I do have scissors. So if you just let me like... You won't even regret it. Like, it'll be so good. And there are a lot of people honking. So I just think that maybe it would be the best option if we could just move this along a little bit. And go ahead and snip it right on. What do you think? Okay. You want to try the nail polish thing? No. I suppose I could continue with the brushing out, and then when you go home, you or maybe even like on the way home, you could like get like a lice treatment, even from like Walmart or like Shoppers Drug Mart or something like that. Get a lice treatment, then do a lice treatment on you. Is that cool? Okay. And then you won't have to be bald. But I'm just saying, you would look really good as a bald person. I'm just saying. That's all you have to know about me. Maybe another day though. And also you should dye your hair blue because you would look so good with blue hair.
and that already looks better. He combed through a lot. There are little critters crawling around my toes. Um, so yeah, I guess that's really all I can do for you. I think that's all I can really help you with. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get your cold fish fillet from just over there. If you don't mind paying, Hurry you along your way and you can go about your day. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for being patient and being, you know, kind to yourself and letting yourself be free from the little, little tiny critters. Okay. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. When I was playing around with it, this, I thought it kind of sounded nice. But honestly, I love all air sounds a lot, so I feel like anything really sounds good. Fun tweezers. I bought a bunch of new stuff recently for ASMR. Oh, I accidentally pulled this out instead of the thing I wanted. But I did buy some stuff for like dental rope plays and such. And I bought a derma roller.
genuinely so atrocious looking. It, I don't really know why I specifically bought this one, honestly, because it literally looks like the most unflattering Dora the Explorer hair that you could literally ever possibly imagine. But look, I got um, these, which are little ear cleaning tools, which I think are pretty cool, and there's quite a few different ones. This is a bit of an experimental video, just kind of trying things out. Let me know if there are specific triggers that you like in this video, or triggers that you want to see more of. For me, scalp videos are a lot about the visuals and the sounds. So yeah, I just wanted to um, kind of see how things sound. And It's a little bit nice that it's a little bit more of um, a low effort video as well because I just haven't been feeling great the last week. So it's nice to create something that's a little bit more low energy and stuff like that. I think this one will sound really nice as like an ear cleaning video. I'm more a fan of like actual scalp triggers and less of hair brushing, but that's personally me. I don't mind like a little bit of light hair brushing, but I don't like repetitive movements. It almost feel pointless, if that makes sense. This video isn't gonna be like the most perfect scalp check in the world or like anything like that. I just wanted to do, once again, do something a little more chill. First, we have to use the chopsticks, which are one of my all-time favorites. And my wig is not very stable, don't mind that. I want to figure out a way to make it more stable so it doesn't look like I'm, like, absolutely obliterating your head in the video, you know? Like, throwing you back and forth in any sort of role plays or anything like that. What I really want to get is a hair styling ball. That I think would be much better for the ASMR.
And would you like to see tapping videos? I normally don't like to do a lot of tapping in role plays. Just a little bit. Just because I don't want to like completely break the immersion. But now that I have these little nails, I don't know how long they're going to last. I'm hoping for at least two weeks. But would you like some scratching or tapping videos? Just let me know. But scalp videos are actually like my favorite videos. They're like the videos that I go to sleep to every single night. This, like moss, just stuff like that. But I do think that it could be quite fun. Oh, I'm dropping. Oh, I'm dropping more things. Now there's just dental cleaning supplies in the hair. But obviously, like I'll try and do something. Those are some fun ones. I'm curious to try it with like um, maybe even like this, like kind of right there. One thing I love is when ASMR just like really take the time to like make sure the part is clean. I feel like it is just very relaxing to just really take the time.
Let me try and braid a little section of hair. This might be hard once again, but it wants to go everywhere. I want to get like a little wig, or a little, one of those things they like, people put their wigs on, you know what I'm talking about. Braiding with long nails is kind of hard. There are going to be a few things that I'm going to struggle with. <laughs> Oops. But I've always wanted long nails. So I was really excited when I finally got to do them. They're just press-ons, if I didn't mention that already. Not the best braid in my entire life. Who oh, no. knew? Who oh, knew? The long nails. I really didn't think that they would be that long. I was like, oh yeah, these aren't really that long. They're weirdly long and like weirdly hard to use. I just wasn't expecting it. I do like little hair plays when people do like hairstyles and videos, but I'm actually more fond of when people take out hairstyles because I feel like it has better sounds. The hair is pretty soft though. I will say that it is fairly soft. Can you know what else? I bought gloves, but I'm now thinking that's going to be hard to put on. But let's give it a shot. Oh wait, look, look how I put, I, I put my, my index finger, this is my thumb. Completely messed this up. Give me a I might have only um have it on one hand because that was so much more difficult than I thought, but I love it's sort of hard to do them, but I do love glove sounds.
was your favorite trigger? And, um... So I see that we are going to be doing a lice trick on you. Um, we've already got you sitting down all nice and comfortable. So I can just take a look. It is okay if I touch you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're searching for lice today. You've been really itchy. Lucky for us, um, I can really see your scalp, so that really helps. Um, and I'm not seeing anything right now, but of course we want to do a really thorough, deep check. So let me go ahead. I have these two, um, chopsticks. And... general areas behind the ears. And such to really get a general look. Let's see if I can see anything obvious, which I'm not seeing right now. There's nothing. Nape of your neck. Yeah, I'm just gonna move you down a little bit. There's nothing super obvious on the nape of your neck or the top of your head, which is a good sign. Can I take a look at behind your ears? But not. Yeah. So just taking a look at behind the ears. It's not on this side. Over here, I'm not really seeing anything so far. So far, your scalp is very clean. You have a very healthy scalp. I'm not able to see any lesions, any redness, any irritation, anything like that. So, have you been itchy? Hmm. You know what? I'm noticing on the top of your head a little bit of dandruff. I wonder if. 
I wonder if that's maybe more focused on the top than maybe along the hairline. So I'm gonna take a look at the hairline in just a second here. Just let me finish good and try and see if there's anything else along the nape of the neck. I just want to make sure that I'm doing the most thorough job possible, so I'm just gonna lift you up there a little bit. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and check. I'm noticing a lot of dandruff along the hairline. Just wondering how much that carries through. Is that generally where you've been itchy? Is like along the hairline and Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely seems to me like that's you've got a bit of dandruff there. Have you noticed that at all? No. This is a more recent thing, like you've been itchy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Dry scalp can happen to anyone, it is the winter season, so that could be part of the reason why you just have a bit more dry scalp. Okay, well now that we know that it is along the hairline, I think I'm just going to do a quick comb through on your hair because it's a little bit messy now. is looking a little bit better, looking a little more even. And I'm just gonna go ahead. Since your hair is quite fine, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this brush. Just to smooth out any of the frizz. Anywhere that your hair just wants to stick up and go crazy. This is looking much better. This will be much easier for me to do more thorough check. I mean, so far we haven't seen any actual lice. We're just seeing a little bit of dandruff. And that's odd. Oh, I think I might have just found one. It flew off on the brush. Okay. Okay, so. I have a little bit of concern now, because I think I did just find the lies. But don't worry. Okay, your hair is very well brushed. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up some of that dandruff. Okay, so I may have been mistaken. I, uh, some, I think some of it is dandruff, but I think some of it is also eggs. It's, yeah. So I'm just definitely dandruff, but I think... Mm -hmm. Some of it is eggs. 
It looks to be, like the one that I found on the brush was very small, it was a very small bug. So I do think that it's very early on. Yeah, I definitely think it's very early on. And that's why we're not really seeing a lot, and then that's probably why you were itchy and then you noticed you got itchier. Because you had that dandruff problem, so it was making you a little itchy, but... Then you started getting the bugs, and the bugs made it itchier, and that's when you thought, oh, maybe I should come in, yeah, yeah. I just found a little guy, a little bug, but it looks like the lace, or the, the knits are very, very, there's very little of them, so I genuinely do believe that this is very early on in their career, as you might say. Mm-hmm. So nothing too, too concerning yet. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one now. Some of them are a little bit more fidgety and hard to go. They want to fight a little bit more. But I'm just trying to irritate the area and seeing if I can get any movement. I'm honestly not seeing a lot. No. I'm not seeing a lot of movement. I'm just picking out some of the knits, because that's really all I can see. I found two little bugs, but that's really it. That's all I was able to find, so I'm just... I think the best route to go is just to do a little bit of treatment, and then we can um, uh, put a bit of like a wrap, a little bit of a wrap on the scalp, and uh, yeah, because I'm just seeing knits and dandruff, so it'll help with actually the knits and the dandruff a little bit, and then uh, we'll do a light comb through, and then um, we'll give you a bit of like a bottle to use for yourself for when you get home, because I'm just thinking that that's probably the best option, and then you can just apply that in the shower, rinse it off, within, do, do that in two weeks, and then it should be all gone, because it's just such a, so little going on, you know, like. There really is, like. There's so little going on that I just think that it wouldn't take long to get rid of this. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start with the treatment though. And I've got all my treatment in here. So I'm gonna grab out that. Okay. Okay. So, I have this brush that we can go ahead and apply the treatment with. So there's two sort of, there's the active part of the treatment, and then there's sort of the like reactive part. So once they're put together, that's what makes the treatment really work. So I'm just going to be applying this to the back of my hand. And then take a little bit of this. You really don't need much of this. this together. And I'll uh, mostly just like exp soaks it all up, all soaks all the treatment up. And as you can tell, 
we've really soaked it up and then we're just gonna begin by applying it in the areas that we so suited up all of the areas that you're really struggling with we will do this on the entire scalp don't worry but especially a lot the way that's looking. Alright. And the next step we have this little silicone sponge. I'm just gonna hold you still, I'll try not to move. And I'm just gonna this is really gonna get the get into the scalp and help it because those those knits, those tiny knits, they hang on for dear life. I just want to keep checking in, you know. I want to make sure you're doing good. At any point you're uncomfortable, please just let me know. Okay. I think that's pretty much good. With this.
think that's good with that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the wrap for your scalp and then we're gonna go ahead and apply that. just generic plastic wrap. I'm just going to glue that over. Okay. And we're going to apply a little bit more just to wrap it around. It looks really good. It looks like got that on there sturdy. Okay, so that's looking great. What we basically want to do now is create heat um, to allow that treatment to really work into the scalp. Okay, okay, okay. So we have two different ways that we're gonna be doing this. First, we're gonna be applying um, this, um, which 100% rose hip seed oil, and then we're gonna be applying some of this. Together, that's just gonna really allow the scalp to heat up. I'm just going to be applying a little bit, not a lot, so I'm just going to be applying it to my finger. So I'm just going to be letting that sit on the scalp, um, and when we do that, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a pen this way, or a pen. Just go ahead and write some of the things that have been going on. 
And what we discovered today, just on your, um, your little sheet here, just for record's sake, we also want to know how this treatment did for you. Like, everyone's different, you know. Maybe this one is the right one for you. If that's the case, then we'll try a different one. Especially for the dandruff, I really want to mark that down. If you have continue problems with the dandruff, we're going to give you a bit of a prescription for that as well. Just a simple um, oil which will hydrate. If you're still having some problems with it, we can get you steroids, we can get you lots of different stuff going on if it's really irritating. So just come, and come back and we can figure it out. Make another appointment. Yeah. Just while we wait for that to go into the scalp. So I'm just going to check my file over here. Yeah. Yeah, we're just... Yeah. I'm, I like to write it down. I just find it helps me remember better. But I'm going to be going ahead and transferring it over there. I just wanted to open up your file. and I mean, your file was already open. But I just wanted to check through it and get that all ready so then when you leave I can add this in. Then yeah, I like to have my own personal records. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. We can now take this off very carefully. Make sure there's no residue left. So nothing major, but we are gonna do a little bit of a wash through, just to make sure your scalp is washed after all of that. And just by a wash through, I just mean like a little, a little bit of a brush, just to brush it off. Alrighty. So we had no problems, no moments of irritation, no moments of like points of the scalp that were like especially sensitive or anything like that. Good. Good. When I mean, your scalp looks really healthy, just the dandruff once again. It could just be winter. You know, it could just be aging as we age, where your skin gets drier. Yeah. Obviously, you don't have a lot of hair. Just have like a little bit of peach fuzz. But what you do have looks really nice and healthy. Okay. That's everything I think we're going to be doing today. Because um, your scalp, everything looks fine, everything looks healthy. And yeah, you can go home. You know, if you want to rinse that out, if you don't like the feeling of it, or don't like the smell or anything like that, that's totally fine. And then two weeks from now, apply the topical treatment. Um, rinse it off in like half an hour, follow the instructions, and you should be clean and clear. We're also getting you that dandruff. Mm, you can use those together, no problem. Um, yeah, your scalp looks really good, and everything looks set, so that means that we can go ahead and send you home. Um, thank you for coming in. I'm super happy that I could help you. If you have any more problems, don't hesitate to call. Of course, if you have any irritation at all from any of the treatments that we did today that you're going to be doing when you get home, please let us know. Then we can help you out. Okay. Well, have a lovely rest of your day. Goodbye. Okay, look, neither of us thought it was gonna turn out like this. The box said camouflage. I didn't realize that was gonna turn your hair invisible. I don't think it's my fault. It was clearly a misunderstanding on both of our parts. But your hair is still there. Yeah, you're not bald. Here, let me show you. I have a brush. See? still have hair. It's there, it's just invisible. Which, I mean, is kind of funny. I mean, camouflage, come on. I guess it's not funny.
funny for you. Well, look, I don't know what to do. I mean, we could try a hair mask. Maybe that will, like, I don't know, take some of the dye out, and then you'll have, like, translucent hair. It's better than being bald. Okay, but I don't want to touch your hair, so I'm going to be putting on gloves. I have some gloves here. Well, I don't want to contract whatever you have. I mean, not that you have, like, a disease, but... I mean, what if it turns my hands invisible? Okay, look what the glove is doing. Look, you're gonna have to be patient with me. Look, it's almost on, okay? Yeah, it's not a big deal. I mean, we're best friends, I'm gonna help you out. But I just, you know, I gotta be on the safe side. I mean, I'm sure you understand. Who made putting on gloves so difficult? Okay, gloves are on. So, um, I'm not really, like, sure what I'm even supposed to do with this. Yeah, like, so I've got a piece right here. As you can see, totally see-through. So bizarre. Okay. Well, I have, like, this mist. It's supposed to help you relax. So maybe it could be useful. Just kind of like spray that on the hair and then rub it in, I guess. I don't know. Did you see that? That was pretty cool. Okay, I'm just getting mist everywhere. I have this, um, like, thing. So let me just try and put this on your scalp and really rub and do the top massage. Maybe this will relax the hair and then it will help, I don't know, do something. I'm trying, okay? I'm doing the best I can. I've never had this situation happen before. I may, I've been doing hair since I was about five years old. Never in my life, you know? Okay. Okay. Let's just kind of clean it up with this loofah. You know, doing our thing. go ahead and check and see if there's any areas on the scalp that might be better than others. You know, see if I can like try and find any areas that perhaps the hair dye didn't like stick on to as much. Okay, so for the first time in my life, doing a really thorough job is actually working in our not favor, the opposite of favor, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's everywhere. Your whole scalp is just full of invisible hair. So, um, okay, I have this oil. Did you hear that? A bone just cracked inside of me. I have this oil. I'm just gonna try and like I'm just gonna try and like put some drops on your scalp. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna take some of this oil and I'm just gonna put it in the Oh, I just dripped it all over the floor. <laughs> you see that one drop though? It's a little bit going everywhere, but I'm gonna massage this into the scalp. Get really back there. And once again, I said I'm improvising, okay? I'm improvising. This is the best I got.
Well, at least your hair isn't tangled. It's very soft. Like, have you felt it? Like, it's not dead at all. Yeah, not dead at all. Not brittle. It's great. Your hair is in excellent condition. If only we could see it. I know what else to do. I mean, okay, so we've tried. I could try the hair mask. I think that that is our last option. The spray didn't work. And the uh, massage didn't work. Brushing it is not working. I couldn't find anything on the scalp that shows that there are areas where this is not affected. Okay, I don't really have a hair mask with me. Oh, Digger is going to... No, he's not. Is he? I don't... Do you want to say hi? Oh. Look at him. What do you have to say, Digger? Do you have anything to say? No, he just wants pets. Okay, go on the floor. So, this is the best thing that I have that we could try and use as a hair mask, the Elf Power Grip Primer. Um, I don't know. Maybe it'll like grip onto the hair dye. And possibly like remove it. Gross. Just putting it on the end the best that I possibly can. Um, rub it in. I guess. And just slowly massage this product into the hair. It's kind of giving me a hand cramp. Ugh. Gotta stretch out those hamstrings. Or more like the thumb strings. <laughs> Really know what else to do besides wait and then I guess like rinse it off so I'll use some of the spray spritz it around and then we'll use the loofah to kind of scrub it out you know that's the best thing I think uh, let me just take another look in the scalp and spray and and that should do it I think for the relax fragrance sp no relax pillow spray sweet orange and lavender it does smell very good Like, am I 
apps on my hand. Could you imagine, like, hand apps? I think that would be pretty cool. Or maybe it wouldn't. Maybe it would be very frightening. frightening and like that's just how it be okay okay I'm not gonna lie I think that I see something I do I think that I see a little bit of improvement I'm gonna brush this out I think we fixed the issue Okay, maybe we didn't fix the issue. Oh no. Do you see that? Are you seeing this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, are you seeing that? You, this is your hair. Dude, it's falling out of your scalp. Incl oh my goodness. On the bright side, it'll be a lot easier to wear wigs. I borrow a pencil. Thanks. What's all this? Well, you have a lot of, like, decorations on your pencil case. This is a pencil case, right? I've just never seen anything like this before. Oh, okay. I see. So it's just, like, pins from animes and stuff. Nobody will even be able to tell. I'm just gonna scoop up the mayo with this spoon and then apply it across the hair. Okay, you're really making things difficult. Look, okay, if you're gonna be difficult about it, I can still help you. Um, but first things first, I'm gonna have to apply gloves because I don't want to get whatever you have, you know, I don't want to catch it. is just a substitute for today and he literally has no backbone so it's not a big deal you won't get in trouble or anything plus you wear glasses so you probably look really smart too okay i'm struggling Examine the hair and look what I'm gonna 
dealing with. Mm hmm okay. pretty good. Let me take a look in the air. Let me just take a quick look. It's no big deal. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see anything else. But I mean, I just saw one on you. Maybe it was a coincidence. Maybe I jumped from somebody else, you know. It could very well have jumped. Yeah, it must have. I don't, I don't see anything. Okay, I kind of ruined your hair, so I'm gonna go ahead and brush it again. some of your hair just so we can like examine this better. Take a really 
section down. Whoa. Now a bunch of lice just formed. And they like spawned out of nowhere. Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay. Alright. Calm them out. Oh gosh. that mayonnaise is a good way to get rid of bugs. So, if you change your mind, just let me know. But no, you definitely. Your whole head is a goner. Uh, let me see. Maybe I have some something to help. Mm. I have these um, like angled nail fly, nail clippers. I sadly don't have any scissors, but these could totally work to just like snip all your hair off if you're interested or the other option is always mayonnaise just let me know oh god the bottom of my bag completely destroyed my lipstick it's like useless now hey yeah you um do you by chance have a lipstick in your bag mine sort of took a tumble if you will thank you so much oh no Stay there for a second. I have to fix that eyebrow. It's completely uneven. Yeah, don't worry. I've got a spool here. So we'll just brush that out. And... Oh, no. Don't worry. There's still a little bit left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... Sorry, am I getting this in your eyeball? Sorry about that. I don't have the best steady hands in the world because, um... Well, you know, I ain't a heart surgeon. 
okay anyways so that looks a lot better i think there's something moving on your head i think it's right there please stay still this is a very big deal i don't even know what to do do i like do i grab it i don't know i've never been in this situation before do you mind You. Yeah, it was moving. What was I supposed to do? Well, I had to put it somewhere. It was in my fingers. It, it could have dug into my fingernail. Oh my gosh, is there any more, do you think? Like, I'm scared. I'm scared. Here. I have this bag of stuff that we can use, okay? I found some chopsticks. Um. Ooh. I'm not kidding. There is a few creepy crawlies on your head. I'm scared. Well, no, no judgment to you. Like, happens to the best of us and the pretty of us. That made sense. But like, oh no. Yeah. No, it, it's there. It's it's on you. They're on you. I'm scared. Do you think they can, like, jump or fly or teleport? Oh my god, imagine if they could teleport. That'd be terrible. Oh. I'm, I'm scared. Sorry, don't worry. I'll be brave. Okay. Well, are you feeling okay? Like, do you feel sick? Do you have a fever? Okay, you don't have a fever. So that's good at least but I'm still like yeah, you also have dandruff so no judgment here just like did you know that yeah no luckily the dandruff was less noticeable than a thing moving across your forehead I mean what if that like traveled it could like go inside of your ear Wouldn't that be funny? And it wouldn't be funny for me, but... Hmm. I don't know, like, it's hard. Do you have, like, gel in your hair? Yeah, it looks nice. I'm gonna have to try and, like, brush it a little bit, though. Like, just on the top, right about there. Just, like, a little brush through. That's... See, I told you I can fix it. You don't want me to cut? But how am I supposed to fix it then? Ugh. What if I try to like... I'm just like... What do you think? Maybe it's like chic like that. It's not my fault. What do I have in here? Oh, maybe this will work. How's that? Does that feel any better? Does that look any better? Oh, I see. Um, yeah, no, it looks cute like that, actually. It looks really cute like that. Here, what if I try? I have an idea.
Yeah, no, it looks way better now. You look great. No, there's no problem. Anyways, what were we doing? Oh, yeah, we were checking your scalp because you had a bit of an infestation. Um, yeah, I'm just noticing. Yeah, there's a lot going on, but, but I have an idea. mayo can help with lice but what if we use this primer huh huh i see all the beauty youtubers doing that i could like squirt this on your head and maybe it'll like do something you don't want that okay i've got more stuff in my purse i have nail polish specifically matte top coat would that work do you think Okay, let me just see how bad this issue is. Maybe we could do something else. I mean, we can't comb. Combing is not an option. But, um, it's tricky. Because there's just, there is a lot. Combing's not an option, nail polish, treatment. Oh my god, I just touched my hair. Do you think they're gonna travel? I hope not. Well, okay, I think there's really only two options for you. So I'm just gonna need you to really hear me out. Do note, there's a lot going on on the head. So, I guess we actually have three options. First, you go out there and you just power it, you know? work it, live your best life kind of thing, or you go out there and, um, no, no, or you stay in here and I have two different treatments that we can try. Either we can use the toilet water or I have a bottle of Pink Whitney and I tell ya, pour that on your head, they won't know what hit them. I know this must be a little confusing, but basically I'm just checking your hair lice. I th think it can be kind of scary when people hear that word, but truly there's nothing to be afraid of. So I have these two combs and they're gonna help me search the scalp because that's where lice like to hide out. They like to dig deep into the scalp and make their little homes there. So I'm just looking around just to see if I can notice anything immediately. I'm looking at just the top of your head. If the problem is particularly bad, that's where they're going to lie, just the top of your head. But as we get a little bit lower and the nape of your neck right there and yeah okay. and we're just doing a really thorough check today um, just to see what we can see what we, we, we can find um, and yeah that we're in some Spoolies, as they're called, and I can lightly use them just to kind of hold the hair into place and really search and look at all the nooks and cranny of your hair. Um, yeah, it just helps me keep the hair into place, just like a little brush, but okay. The other thing that I can use is my fingers, and those work just great. To check the scalp with. So 
also I'm seeing lice. I'm just gonna get a measure to measure how big they are. I found one just there. Okay, so yeah. These lice are about an inch, an inch in diameter, which Yeah, that's a little concerning. Okay. So. I'm gonna continue to look into the scalp with my tools here. And anything I find, I'm just go. Those are going to be for samples for later. And to understand the situation a little bit better, I have this Fortnite assault rifle. I'm just going to Chopsticks. trying to get a clean part, which is weirdly harder than you'd think it would be. Okay, continuing the search just to check out the neighborhoods and the complex road systems that the lice have made just along your scalp like that. Yeah, there's a lot. I see a garbage dump over here. I see a hospital over there. So very interesting society that the lice have built. I'm quite intrigued by the complexities of their systems and politics. And it's a quite interesting that the lice have done it all just on your head. But, you know, Someone's got to be the world, the globe, you know, to their society, and, and your head is quite round. So I'm imagining that, logistically, they probably just thought, oh, perfect, like, a perfect shape globe. 
for us to build our colonies and to start a society. How does that feel? Like, do you notice heavy buildings and structures on your scalp or, or have you just sort of been ignoring it? That makes sense. I'm, I'm pretty procrastinating too, you know, especially when it comes to like any sort of thing that I need to get checked out by a doctor or professional. Um, but this looks like this civilization has been around for centuries. Yeah, I'm really seeing like old roads that lead into like new suburban neighborhoods. And I'm just wondering, you know, how, how long this took them to build. You think it would have taken ages, but I have an analogy. So this is your brain. I stole it. And brains are very, you know, wrinkly and complex, but they take a long time to build and to form, unlike this, which is very easy to mold. Of course, this, this isn't your real brain. I did steal the real one, but I don't want to show you that. Uh, just for security reasons and such, but this is a fake brain. Pretty much, it looks like these lice have been with you through all your traumas, and I can see, you know, that your dad left, and, you know, I can see the time that your best friend in the fourth grade backstabbed you by putting gum in your hair. I can really see all of that. So, um, you know, some call me a life psychic. Um, yeah. Are, are you a Leo? The lice, they're telling me you're a Leo. Well, I hope they're not wrong. No, I don't, I don't, uh, remove lice. I just find them. I'm not really a remover type of person. I just like to look and observe. If you want to get these removed, you're going to want to go to a pharmacy and ask them for, um, some bleach. And, yeah, they can help you out a little bit more than I can. Don't worry about it. I'm happy to assist you. I just want to understand the problem and the root of its source and all of that kind of stuff, which is why I'm just really taking my time to look. But not everyone can appreciate how relaxing this type of situation can be. So I would just say, take, take the time just to close your eyes and stop thinking for a moment because truly, we, uh, we think too much. And I can see that in the brain that I stole from you. So what's your favorite kind of soda? I'm a Coke Zero fan. That's disgusting, but I won't judge.
noticing by your ears um, a surplus of apple orchids. Yes, and I'm noticing that if you just go straight down from the tippy top of your scalp, right, and you go straight down to, sorry, to the beginning of your forehead, I'm noticing a lot of pumpkin patches, which I find kind of interesting. all that I can do for you. I've assessed as much as necessary for me to give you a diagnosis that uh, you have lice and um, you should get it treated. So I hope that was helpful for you and sorry that I'm leaving you with a crazy head of hair and no brain. But Jellyfish have lived a long time with head hair, a crazy head, and no brain, so you should be fine. Okay, thanks for coming in. Uh, never come here ever again. I don't like to see the same person twice. I get bored of faces, and I hope the lice stay with you forever. Mwah.